Big picture, we are studying Shonda's sex ed. I just saw the dirtiest sex tape I have ever seen in my entire life, and it stars his teenage daughter. So you go upstairs, and you get the president's ass out of bed now. I don't know how to do this. As Shonda said, she writes scenes between people, not scenes between straight people or gay people. Are there ever any times that you guys look up sex scenes and say, oh, goodness, whoa, whoa, whoa? That's me always at all the table reads. I'll be like, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, because then you just jump in and you do it. You've got steamy beach scenes, raunchy sex tapes. This is what Pilates can do for you. And frankly, things we can't even describe during the family hour. Oh, my God. Bail out. Last week's scandal even had people scratching their heads after hearing this strange phrase. All right, boys, let's go to Paris. And he did this thing that made my eyes water. Pop culture is entertainment, but at the end of the day, it can also be educational. Shonda is doing a public service by putting this content on television because it's creating a dialogue and a discussion, and people are invested in finding out more. BuzzFeed's Jared Weiselman explains that TGIT is changing the way we see sex on network TV. Why? Because Shonda Rhimes insists on treating gay sex no differently than straight sex. She's depicting sex in a very organic way way. What we're seeing with Shonda's shows is simply a representation of what sex is really like. And it's sad, but that's what's actually groundbreaking about it. Her desire to normalize homosexuality is something that should have happened long ago, and it's just something she feels very strongly about. How'd you get this? Murder star Jack Falahi says it's about creating a kind of equality. Pete Nowak, the writer, has done a really excellent job of creating something that is it's true. And, you know, it, it, the people have sex with people of the same sex. I mean, that happens. And for it to be sold so plainly uh, was really refreshing. Do we need to get you a naughty mat? We're pushing it. We're trying. We're, and, and, we're, and we're not even allowed to get away with half the stuff we're trying to get away with. What you're seeing now on broadcast television would be unimaginable just, you know, seven to ten years ago. While all this sex isn't hurting ratings, Tim Winter of the Parents Television Council is concerned that it's hurting minors. When you trivialize and normalize certain conduct on primetime broadcast television, it has consequences across, uh, across real life. When you look at the scientific research, um, the amount of sexual content that a teen consumes actually predicts teen pregnancy. The concerning thing for me is that all of this is rated by the network as appropriate for age 14, and as a parent of a 17-year-old, that's simply wrong. Listen, I don't think Shonda's writing for 14-year-olds. No. And as a parent, if you don't agree with what she is putting on television, then it's up to you to protect your child from yeah, it. Yeah, you can't let TV ratings dictate what you're going to let your child watch, right? right? And it depends on the kid. I wouldn't let my 7-year-old watch. But, you know, as far as a teen, I think you have to judge the kid how mature they are. Agreed. We'll be right back.